What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike. Welcome back to another movie review. Now, this is going to be a movie review on the movie Missing that just came out. It's been at the movies for a little while now, but it just released digitally. You can watch it at home. So go and check it out, man. This movie was so good. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. This movie is like a sequel to the movie from 2018 called Searching. Um, it's pretty much a sequel to that movie. Um, I love the concept to this movie, man. I love that it shows everything on her computer, you know, on her cameras and stuff. I love those type of movies. It was really interesting. And after I got done watching this, I immediately went and watched Searching because I actually never saw that movie before. So I went and watched that and I loved that as well. I'll be giving you guys my review on that coming very soon. But man, this movie was good, man. It's starring Storm Reed and Nia Long. The description for this movie reads, After her mother goes missing, a young woman tries to find her from home using tools available to her online. And the runtime is an hour and 51 minutes. I actually thoroughly enjoyed this movie, man. I did not get bored at all. My eyes were glued to the screen because there were so many twists and turns. You just didn't know what was going on, what was going to happen next. You didn't know who was in on this, man. You didn't know who took her mother. It was just crazy. Basically, June, you know, she doesn't really get along with her mom too well. Her mom is going to Columbia with her boyfriend, Kevin. Her mom's name is Grace Allen. They're going to Columbia to have a good time, take a vacation or whatever. Well, June is supposed to pick up her mom and Kevin at the airport when they get back at LAX. So the day that they're supposed to get back, you know, she wakes up late or whatever, but she makes her way to the airport and nobody shows up. She's just sitting there waiting all day and she doesn't know what to do. Finally, she assumes that something happened to her mom. So she starts trying to find her mom every way possible. You know, she calls the hotel she was staying at. She's trying to use, you know, live cameras and stuff like that to see where she was at. She ends up going on taskrabbit.com and she ends up meeting this guy named Javi. It's a site where you can ask people to do tasks for you, where you pay them or whatever. And I guess it's a real thing. I didn't even know about this, but she has Javi doing some things for her and he's really helping her out throughout the movie a lot. Like, I really like this Javi guy. But nothing is just adding up. Nothing is making sense. But she ends up finding out some information about her mom's boyfriend. She ends up getting into her mom's dating account, one of those dating apps. And she goes back and looks at all the messages between her mom and Kevin. And she figures some things out. She has like this agent in Colombia helping her with the investigation as well. Um, she figures some things out about Kevin. He's an ex-con. You know, he's like a con man in the past. She doesn't know if she can trust him with her mom. So she figures that, you know, he had something to do with it. But then she changes her mind because she gets on this live cam. And she sees Kevin supposedly propose to her mom. So she didn't really think he had something to do with it anymore. But later on, she finds out some more stuff. And, you know, she zooms in on this picture that Kevin took. And it's supposed to be with her mom on the airplane, but it's really somebody else. You know, Kevin really took somebody else with him to Columbia and made it seem like it was her mom. It really wasn't. It was this other woman with the same skin complexion, you know, the same hair and everything. He was just trying to make it seem like that. Really, he had her mom still in L.A. She never left L.A. And it's crazy because June's dad was behind it the whole time. He was mad that Grace left him years and years ago. She was trying to keep June's dad away from her because he was a drug addict. He was doing all kinds of things that she did not like. He was abusive and stuff. So she sent him to prison. So really her dad was behind it the whole time. Her dad met this Kevin guy in prison and he set it all up. So June's dad is the one that took Grace and her name isn't even really Grace. Her real name is Sarah. She just changed her name to get away from her dad. But her dad ends up coming to her house towards the end of the movie. He grabs June up too and takes her to where Grace is at. June is tied up in this room in like their old house from when she was a child and stuff. And Grace is out in the garage, you know, tied up and stuff. Um, 
June's dad goes to check on Grace. She ends up getting out. She runs in the room to find June. And of course, June is happy to see her. You know, she didn't know what happened to her mom. She's so happy to see her after all this time. He comes in there and I guess he has plans to kill them or whatever. This dude is super unhinged. But how they end up getting out of this situation, you know, June has this smartwatch on and she ends up connecting to the Wi-Fi through the smartwatch. She ends up making a call to that Javi guy or whatever. She's trying to have him, you know, get onto her Instagram account and do some stuff so the police can know where they're at. But that doesn't work because he comes in, he shuts the Wi-Fi off. He knows somebody was using it. But there is these security cameras that are on throughout the house. And there's one in the room where they're at. And June has a great idea, you know, to talk into the security camera because the camera is connected to her computer at her house and her phone is laying there. So she says, Siri, call 911. And that's how they get out of it. You know, the cops rush there and stuff. But dude's already dead because, you know, he got stabbed and stuff. So he ends up dying. But they make it out of this alive. And by the end of the movie, June is texting her mom back nonstop. You know, she's treating her better because she felt bad before that she never replied to her mom's text when her mom said, love you. All she did was like the text. So now she's showing her mom all this love, letting her mom know that she really loves her. You know, her mom going missing really made her have a change of heart. It's not that she didn't love her mom. It's just she was acting like a teenager. But this movie really ended in a good way, in my opinion. I'm glad the way it ended. But it was crazy, man. Twists and turns like crazy. I just didn't know what was going on. I didn't know who was behind it. But once you find out, you're like, damn. But what did you guys think of Missing? If you've seen it, let me know all your thoughts. Keep supporting your boy. And I'll be continuing to bring y'all movie reviews in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And smash the notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.